As my time as the United States Ambassador to Barbados, the Eastern Caribbean, and the OECS comes to a close, I want to thank you, the people of Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Dominica, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines for your kindness and warm hospitality over the past eight years. It has been an immense honor and privilege to represent my country in this capacity and witness the rich tapestry of culture, history, and warmth that defines this remarkable part of the world. Throughout my tenure, the ties between our nations strengthened through cultural exchange programs such as the Young Leaders of America Initiative and the Academy for Women Entrepreneurs, supporting the next generation of leaders to reach their full potential. We've come together to address shared challenges. By joining our efforts, we focused on improving safety and security through the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative, providing training, technical assistance, and joint exercises. We've held medical missions, including the United States Comfort in Burlington, offering medical services, subject matter exchanges, and equipment. Together, we partnered through one of the toughest challenges in my tenure, the COVID-19 pandemic, by providing mobile field hospitals and vaccine deliveries across the region. And we've improved natural disaster resilience and preparedness, working with the emergency management agencies and through our humanitarian assistance program, building emergency management centers and warehouses on each island. My departure is bittersweet. While I look forward to returning to the United States, I will truly miss my second home in the Caribbean and the many wonderful people I have met over the past eight years. As I bid farewell, I want to express my gratitude to the governments and citizens of each island for allowing me to be part of this incredible journey. My time as the U.S. Ambassador has shown that when we work together, we can build a stronger, safer, and more prosperous Caribbean.